Hey, hey, what is going on YouTube? East Tactics here, and tonight is the night for us to figure out who is going to win the mod compilation box with all of the random tactics that I've implemented over the last year and a half or so. And what's really interesting is it is no longer going to fit in this little box. So now I've had to transition it over to this box, which is bigger in size because I've come up with a couple of new mods since um, the last time I released one of my mod boxes. So let's just kind of go through, go through the box starting from the top. The first thing that the winner is going to get is this is the um, lining that you see on the side of the body. And this is exactly the amount you're going to need for a vehicle like your Arma Creighton or most vehicles. Like if you've got Italian or whatever, um, this will be enough. I gave you like 10 extra inches. So if you make a mistake, you're going to be good. Okay, so there's that. The next thing I'm going to be giving you if you want to use them is basically these two pads. So I actually need to glue this together for you real quick. I glued this one together already. So this one will go here to protect your um, shocks from bulging through your body. And then this one right here will go here, which rests on top of this mod to give it more cushion and protection in this area. So I'm gonna throw these in the box for you. Next thing uh, you're gonna be getting, these balloons are your DIY shock boots. Watch this video if you wanna know the installation process on how to install DIY shock boots. I have, I have actually found that these DIY shock boots have lasted me a ton longer, like, Literally within the first week of bashing my Creighton with the stock boots, they broke, they tore, they ripped, literally within the first week. I've had these balloons on these shocks for like four months now. I mean, and they're still, they're still pristine. So it's not only cheap and easy to like have these on hand, but they are more durable. So I highly recommend DIY shock boots, okay? Um, right here is the exact um, washers that you're going to need to do uh, a slop cleanup on your vehicle. Watch this video. And FYI, like I'm going to be showing you guys little snippets up in the corner of, the, of these videos, which are basically going to um, give you an indication that I've created a full detail video on this specific upgrade so that you know where to put them, how many you need, etc. This is exactly what you're gonna to need to do what I did in the video. Again, at the end of this kind of overview of everything in the box, I'll drop a link to the playlist and that playlist will have exactly all the 19 videos or whatever um, that you can go to so you can watch the how to and how to do these things. So this one again is the uh, slop cleanup and this is huge. It really is a game changer when it comes to cleaning up the slop around your vehicle. The next thing we got here, this is uh, your turnbuckle mod. So if you kind of look at my vehicle here, you can see right there, um, I've got, plastic washer basically that's going around my turnbuckle and this is there because over time your turnbuckles they can actually kind of get loose or worn out and what happens is they'll drop down onto this flanged area right here they'll drop down and this whole thing right here will drop down to right here and it'll loosen up your steering and so what's nice about this little mod that you add in right here is it prevents it, even if it starts getting loose, from falling. And basically it'll just keep your steering tight indefinitely without having to worry about that looseness or that falling down. It's a simple thing and it, you know, is you just take these right here and pop them around and you're golden. So there's that mod. The next one here, one of my favorite mod tools. This is a bullet shell. Uh, you know, obviously I've got lots of bullet shells that um, I can sharpen up. What you do is you take a razor blade and you throw this into your drill and then you sharpen up the end of the brass and then you then put this back in your drill and you can use this to drill holes in your tires. Um, let's see, where is it? Oh, right there, bingo. Cuts a hole clean through. It's really easy to do. And what's nice is the little rubber ends up just falling inside this. And over time, you know, you'll just have like a bullet shell full of uh, little rubber things. And 
and it'll last you for quite a long time to vent your tires. And if it gets dull, like I said, you just simply um, sharpen it up again. But this one is already sharpened for you, okay? The next mod that I have here, this is the M4 Bolt mod, which um, I've got a video on right here for. Now, you can go in, if you've got the V4, you can go in and tap a hole through this and through your aluminum bracer so that you have a much more beefy bolt going through this. If you start sending your vehicle doing some big air, um, which, you know, uh, after doing a lot of modifications and things like that, you can actually handle with this with these vehicles. We're talking like Rich Duper Bash, RC Dude 81 style flight jumps. So those guys uh, are the motivation behind the need for a thicker M4 bolt going down through this chassis mount. So here's one of those um, bolts for you. And if you just watch the video, you can get the tactic on just how to drill it and what size drill bit you need and, and whatnot. Now, if you've got the V5 or you've got the EXB, I think that those already come with the thicker Arma, you know, they pay attention to us, right? And so they've put the thicker one in. But if you've got the V4, then you're gonna wanna do this. Or if you've got like a V3 or just an older version, Talion, a Creighton, an Outcast, whatever, then you'll, you can use this to beef that up. All right, so here's a little bit of silicon. So if you guys want to throw silicon into your center differential, you've got some, that should be enough. The next mod here is a, this is a McMaster.com diff pin. This is a hardened steel. These are super beefy and they're even slightly fatter. So when you pop this into your differential, like if you end up breaking one of your pins, when you replace the pin with this one, you can rest in pretty good confidence that the pin's not gonna break next time you have issues. It's, it's, it's gonna be something else because these fit in nice and snug and they actually clean up quite a bit of the slop in the diff, in the diff house because simply because they're just slightly like a hair's breadth thicker and then they're also made out of the heavy duty steel. Um, watch this video for the details and if you really fall in love with the with the need for these pins, you can order. I give links to like where you can order more of this exact pin. But here's one for you. If you do break a pin, you've got a hardened steel diff pin. All right, what else we got? So I've had a few people in the comments say, man, I really hope you throw some sorbothane into this mod box. Well, I listened. This is two sheets of sorbothane, which is a really, really cool material. I mean, it's a material that is specifically designed for shock absorption. I've got a few videos that you could watch in the shock mitigation tactics um, playlist. I've already got a playlist about shock mitigation. I highly recommend you look at all the videos in that playlist because the servo is just one of the many places in the vehicle where adding some TLC to uh, to the components so that you don't break your servo. I would say 90% of the reason why people's servos go out is because they just slap these servos in and they don't think about any shock mitigation. So these two pieces of sorbothane can go directly under the servo and add shock absorption. Watch the video though, watch this video right here to specifically get all the details because there's more to it than just these two sheets. You also need to make sure that you take advantage of the grommets, those these little rubber grommets right here. If you, you absolutely need to make sure you have those. And I actually fitted some sorbothane, a little sheet of sorbothane in here as well, which um, I do believe I actually have um, some excess here. So maybe I'll throw those in. Let's see. So I'll throw this piece in right here, which is basically more than enough to cut those out yourself. You're gonna wanna pop little holes, obviously little holes into, into the pieces that you use, but I'll throw this in the bag too so that you've got some for that, all right? So anyway, there's this mod, okay? Now let's see what else we got. Ah, uh, all right, so right here I've got two 16 inch zip ties and three eight inch zip ties. My original video, which is right here, I used three eight inch zip ties to wrap around, just, just basically go straight around right here, which is fine, you can do that, but I since 
ordered the 16 inch zip ties and you only need two of them and when you install them you can do an x pattern so basically one of those of them goes around like this and the other one goes around like this which creates a nice x pattern as well as the the edges so you get one two three four supports instead of just two for this stuff if you so choose to put it in your body, which I, I recommend you do because it's legit and it's gonna make your body last longer. So there's the um, zip ties. What else we got? Ah, this is also one of my favorite modifications. So these, I, and this is part of the reason why I had a delay in this video. I had to order more of these so that I could give, so I can give them out. So now that I've got these in back in stock, I threw four of these into your kit. Now these things are awesome. Take a look. This right here is one of the most common places when you come down hard on your nose, a lot of times you're, you know, if you've got like the, if you've got like a T-bone or you've got the RPM or even the, the EXB bumper, the bumper itself might hold true, but it just pops out of the body, in particular the, these two. So these washers are not, they are not weak, they're stout. And basically you just put one of these down first and you are seriously gonna be holding your bumper on a ton stronger. I don't really feel like there's a need for, for these in the rear end because most of the time, like 90% of the time, we have an impact that's, that's gonna need something like this extra support is the front end. So there's those. All right. The, these little devices, like I seriously, I've got mine right here. I use it all the time. For example, I recently went out, ran my vehicle, and I was like, okay, I kind of want to just cut it short because I don't want to run the battery all the way down, and I'm hoping that the battery level for my current like situation is, is at like storage, at the storage mode, right? So... Basically, when you've got one of these on hand, you don't have to go over to your station and like hook your battery into it and like turn it on, plug it in and deal with all the hassle just to find out what the battery levels are. You simply take the, I can just check this super fast. So I just plug this in. Like so, it says, cell one, 3.76, cell two, 3.78, cell three, 3.80. So yeah, I always have one of these on hand right in there just to check my batteries as needed. Super useful. All right, what else we got? So this right here is another mod that I added to my list. I created a video on this where I went in and I decided to, to uh, there. I noticed that there was a spacer, in, a space between the actual pin and my bumper, which was allowing my, um, my hinge pin to basically slide back and forth. And what was interesting is I came down really hard on my nose one time and it snapped this bumper right here. And I honestly blame that on the fact that this system wasn't solid. It, there was play in here, which allows for weakness. So by simply sliding two of these little M4 nuts over this on both ends here and over here, it completely makes this section just like rock solid. But the only way to really do it is if you drill out these nuts because you don't want the threads. You, you, you wanna basically just draw a little bit of this of them so that you can slide it over with no problem. Well, I've already gone through and I've drilled these out for you. If you do have the similar setup and you wanna take advantage, you have them. So just watch this video if you wanna take advantage of this tactic. All right, you can't forget about the snap rings. These snap rings are the exact snap rings that you're gonna to want to use if you're having an issue with your steering. Normally you would have to go and buy a snap ring kit, which would basically entail picking up an entire box of snap rings. Why would you wanna buy an entire box of snap rings? Most people don't have these on hand and so they end up buying this whole kit simply so they can get these snap rings. Well, why do you need the snap rings? Well, watch this video here 
and this will address all the questions you might have. If you're experiencing issues, which is very common in a V4 Creighton and a V5 Creighton and even the EXP, that the steering is just not up to snuff. So watch the video here in regards to the snap rings tactic and you'll be able to go in and kind of tighten up your steering and then you'll already have the two snap rings that you need and you won't have to buy the whole kit. And finally, for the final thing in this mod box giveaway, one of my favorite things that I'm giving away, high powered fans. So this right here is a bunch of the stuff that you're gonna need to install a motor or a fan on your motor and your ESC. So just to kind of open this up and give you a brief overview of what's all in this bag. Kind of a mess. All right, so first and foremost, this fan right here is the best fan you can get. Hands down, it's tanky, it's also powerful. I've already retrofitted a JR connector on this one for you, so that's ready to go. You can install this on either your motor or your ESC, both of which you're gonna need something that you'll need to purchase, because I don't have everything. So what you'll need if you wanna attach this to your ESC is a motor mount that looks similar to this. So here's an image of it, an exact image of it. You can pick it up on alizaracing.com. I do have somebody that I've run into that plans on making these in the US and putting them on eBay. But for now, alizaracing.com, which I'll leave a link in the description, and here it is on the bottom of the screen, for you to pick up this part. Now you do need to make sure you pick up the basher version of the ESC um, mount, which the basher version has this circle section as a support in the middle, okay? So that's that's if you're gonna install it on your ESC, which I'm gonna be including your little, um, your screws, so one, two, three, four. And I've also got some sorbothane. This circular piece right here is for directly underneath, right there, that circle. That's where that circle goes. These little squares, I've already pre-punched holes in them for you, so you can put them on the top. Here's your sor sorbothane shock absorption. Um, and then this right here, I actually already prefabricated this for you. It is a splitter and a switch for your 3S battery. So this will go directly into the 3S battery. This is a switch that you can mount somewhere in your vehicle. And then this one here will run to this fan. And then you can run this one here to your other fan if you want to put one like I have on the motor with a heat sink, okay? Otherwise, if you don't use it, you can just fold it and tuck it away somewhere and just power this one. So here's a switch for two fans ready to go for you. Here's some extra heat shrink. Um, now, in just an extra bonus, I'm throwing in this fan here. Now granted, this fan isn't the same power as this one. I just happened, to, when I was doing my experimentation and trying to find the best fans of the best, and I found this one to be the best one, I, I purchased a few that were not quite as good, but still good. So, and they're just gonna sit here, collect dust, so I might as well give them away, right? So this would still be a great fan for either your motor or your ESC. It's just not quite as powerful. It is still powerful and it will still cool your, your motor or your ESC better than the stock fan. It, this one is definitely a tank one too. Like it's, I would say this one is more tanky and bash resistant than this one, but it's just not quite as powerful. While this one is powerful and has a lot of attributes in it for tankiness. Anyway, I'm gonna give you one of these two, which will come with the, the four bolts these four little red, um, oh, here we go, the four of those. And then this one right here hasn't, I haven't retrofitted a JR connector onto it, but I am providing you with one. So here you go. You'll just do that yourself, okay? And then I also am giving you some of this uh, um, wire braid stuff, so you can put that on this fan. Now, in just an extra, here's more like another splitter that's just, if you didn't want to use a switch, you could just use this splitter. Or, and then here's some excess of this stuff as well. I'm also giving you another larger piece of this heat shrink. You might also want to pick up, um, if you look at the DIY fan for either of these, which I'm not including in this, is the little fan covers. I did find one on Amazon and I included it in the DIY link. So, and it's like six bucks or eight bucks or something like that. But you can also, when you go to Alza Racing and pick this up, you can buy 
carbon fiber toppers for both of these. Anyway, so all of this is going back into this bag and that summarizes all the goodies in this mod compilation box that's being given away. Now, keep in mind guys, again, this mod compilation box is not gonna be the last one. Um, in the future, I'll drop another you know, announcement saying I'm gonna be giving another one of these boxes away. And I'm not saying it's going to be identical to this, but it will be very similar. Um, you, may, you may not get two fans, you may just get one fan, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I'll try to include most of all these things that I can in future renditions. And of course, if you know new tactic ideas come into play between now and then, then I'll incorporate those into the box. That's why the box went from this size to this size. So, all right guys, thank you so much for going through and listening to me talk about every single one of these mod ideas. Especially if you're new to my channel and you've never seen any of these ideas and now you have quick access, I just want to say thanks for having the patience to sit and, and watch it all. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.